taking everyone back in time through Tom Hawley's video vault. When you think of nuclear mishaps that have captured the world's attention, there's Chernobyl, Three Mile Island, Fukushima. Another which maybe belongs on that list took place right here in Southern Nevada. But details of what happened in 1970, just 65 miles north of Las Vegas, took years, even decades to emerge. Mushroom clouds had first started appearing on the horizon back in 1951. For here at the Nevada test site, we are engaged in the grim business of survival. A government newsreel shows how tests were conducted until 1962. After that, everything was supposed to be underground. Two, one, zero time. Attorneys Allen and Larry Johns have written a book about the 1970 Bainberry disaster. There had been problems with tunnel preparations. They kept caving in and they had to uh, fill it with cement and drill. On December 18, what should have been a routine underground test resulted in the type of cloud not seen since almost a decade earlier. It was a big deal and all of the equipment was was destroyed because of the radiation. They took the case of two workers who should have never been in danger. The advisory staff is composed of specialists in blast, meteorology, radiation, and public health. They weren't there. There was one radiation safety monitor just outside the camp. Some atomic veterans go to court. Others publish newsletters full of such words as leukemia, polycythemia vera, lymphosarcoma, and multiple myeloma, all meaning one thing, cancer. The case dragged on with appeal after appeal. The final ruling was that the government had been negligent but was not held liable for the men who died of cancer. The problem was that the Federal Tort Claims Act is very restrictive. The chapter that deals with it is called The King Can Do No Wrong. While the Johns brothers were not able to get compensation for their clients, they maintained that their case led to a key part of the Radiation Exposure Compensation Act of 1990, which to date has paid out more than $2 billion to some 21,000 successful claimants. We have a link to the Bainberry disaster in the video vault section of News3LV.com. Great story, Tom.